Thank you so much. We're so excited to be here today at the Vancouver International Airport as we talk to the one and only Inez Cook. Inez, you just opened up Salmon and Bannock on the fly. How does it feel to have the only Indigenous restaurant in an international airport? It's insane. I can't even believe it's finally happening. It's been a long time coming. We've been working on it for about a year and a half, and it's just fabulous getting those doors open. I've been seeing the social media posts. Uh, people are raving about your food, raving about the fact that you're the only one in North America so far that's done this. Tell us a bit about you and how did this journey start for you? Um, I opened up Salmon and Bannock Bistro on Broadway during the 2010 Olympics. And so I'm making jokes now saying that I have a teenager coming up and a newborn. And um, actually yesterday one of our customers actually thought that I actually had a baby. <laughs> And this is your baby. Well, let's go check it out. Inez, I know it's taken you a long time in coming to get to this point, but can you tell me about the traditional protocol that you followed to get to this point? It was interesting because I learned that I had to, you know, follow protocols. And that's something completely new for me. You know, I didn't grow up in my culture. I'm learning. And like Maya Angelou said, no better, do better. So I wanted to do it in the right way. And um, so I went to meet with Chief Wayne Sparrow and I asked permission and I had two protocol meetings. One was with Chief Wayne Sparrow and one was with um, somebody from my community, Charles Nelson, who's a knowledge keeper and it was so special and it was really amazing because after I asked permission with Chief Wayne Sparrow, he said to me, Inez, you did better than people that know better and that meant a lot because I, I feel like I have so much to learn and I feel like everybody knows everything and I know nothing. And so that was really, it made me feel really special and it felt like we were starting on a good way. And when we left his office, two eagles flew over us. It was so special. Amazing. Inez, I know you have an incredible story being a 60s scoop. Um, tell me about you relearning your culture and, and really taking that in and now following protocol as you did. Well. Being 60 Scoop and being involved in the Indigenous community, I'm still learning every day. Um, I make jokes saying I'm like a born-again native because I'm so proud now. When you know it feels amazing because I never used to be proud, and now I'm super proud. And 11, 11, 11, I got reintroduced to my community and my biological family, and I received my traditional name, which is Snitsmana and I received my button blanket. So now my branding moving forward is all inspired by my button blanket. Incredible. Inez, let's check out some of this incredible food that you guys are making down here at Salmon and Bannock. So, so we decided to have a fish choice, a meat choice, and a vegetarian choice, hot and cold of each. Um, here we have a Bannock taco, which a lot of people are familiar with. Super hearty, delicious, and this one's actually vegetarian. And we have our Salmon and Bannock plate, Perfect, on the go, little snack. And that's a hot open face bison sandwich on Bannock with some horseradish aioli. So at our Broadway location, we do a bison pot roast. Here we did the open face bison. So it's kind of like brand aligned and delicious and people that know our flavors and our brand can try the same things here. Of course, we have our Bannock, we have our indigenous world wines. Here we have a beautiful feel the beet salad a nice way to add is some protein is some candied salmon and um, Ojibwe wild rice pudding, delish, perfect to take on your flights. And we have some beautiful breakfast parfaits, yoga parfaits made with our medicines, ones with sweetgrass cherries, ones with sage blueberries. Uh, we're also uh, carrying tradish jams as well, which is great for the traveling public to take, bring some bannock and jam on their flight. You found a way to incorporate indigenous culture and tradition within your food. I think that's amazing. Now let's talk about this incredible menu that you have. Show us around a little bit. Yeah. So this is the French one. And then, and then what we did here is we did um, a slideshow. So because we're at International Departures, a lot of people might not speak English or French. So we wanted to have a slideshow so people can actually see what we're doing. They see the Bannock. They say, what's Bannock? What's salmon? And it's super appetizing when you see all these gorgeous pictures and you know it's a really nice option to have something healthy something delicious and something that's you know gonna make you feel full for your flight we know that a lot of the airlines the food isn't as delicious as we'd like and um, you know the guests that came to Canada 
that didn't get a chance to try indigenous food, this is a nice send-off that they get to try it. And the other ones that are having last-minute cravings, they can come visit us as well. I'm so excited to introduce you to somebody so special to me. She's become part of the Salmon and Bannock family. Here's the artist that painted our mural, Charlene Johnny. Hi, Charlene. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Can you tell us about this beautiful mural behind you? Um, yeah, I painted it for Inez. She approached me to paint a mural here at the airport, and she wanted the design to be based on the Salmon and Bannock brand. So we came up with a woman with her hands in the air, which symbolizes gratitude. It symbolizes welcoming. Um, I like to call them the Heichka hands. And we wanted to use the button blanket imagery with the salmon and, and the cedar hat. So uh, we painted that imagery. Amazing. It's, it's gorgeous. And it certainly does symbolize Inez herself here in the mural. Here's one of our customers. What do you think? You're almost finished. It's amazing and delicious. Please come down. Check it out. Back to you in studio.